Arregos! <laughs> what up friends? My name is Jonathan, I'm 22 years old and this video is all about my story of how I decided to take a really big risk in my life and make a really big change. And hopefully I will inspire you to start thinking about what you're doing today to be happy. So this is a, a little story of what I've been doing in Denmark for the past three years and how I ended up being really depressed and sad. So this is me right now, um, still feeling lost and confused about my life and what will happen to me and what I will do. Uh, I'm in a situation right now where uh, I ha I'm successful at my my job as a parkour teacher. Um, the money is good and my boss is talking about pr promoting me and stuff like that which is a big honor for me because I work really hard hard at that job and I've really grown through through that job as a person but also as a teacher and a mentor for many of those kids and I feel really happy about that part. I also started studying physiotherapy from some time ago uh, this year but I just feel like everything in my life is falling apart right now uh, I don't feel happy about where I am in my life right now and I am so confused because I'm just starting questioning everything and how society really works and am I following the right path or am I just doing something, something because everybody's doing it um, I'm in Denmark right now, but originally I'm born in Greece. Um, I have two citizens, uh, citizenships, I think it's called. So I'm both Greek and Danish, but I definitely feel feel more more Greek inside. Uh, I love the culture and the weather and the people from there. Uh, that's where, well, that's the place I call home. And basically, my situation right now is. I'm putting everything on pause. So what kept me going in that direction of working as a parkour teacher and a coach and studying physiotherapy was basically the people around me. Uh, because in, those, in their eyes I was successful, I was doing something good with my time, um, I was learning new things and giving back to people around me, but after three years of doing that that it just didn't feel right to me and I was starting really feeling depressed and feeling that I was wasting my time and I was meant to do something bigger and more interesting with my life so I started thinking and seeking who Jonathan really is and and I just came to the conclusion that I have always been the happiest when I was close to nature <laughs> either up in the mountains do you want to see how freedom feels and looks like watch this <laughs> or down by the beach living different adventures as a challenge not to scream when we get in the water <laughs> or by myself sharing them with my friends or meet new people on the way and get into different adventures. So it's 7 o'clock in the morning and me and my sister decided to go and hike up this mountain. How do you feel? <laughs> and get enough of this! Woo! With always in mind to try to, to grow as much as a person and experience as much as possible because that's what really matters to me to grow and be a better version of, of myself through traveling and trying things that are un uncomfortable and really expand my comfort zone that was when I stumbled upon van life and I discovered that living in a van as a lifestyle had everything packed up uh, and really could fulfill me because living in a van I could be living free of routine kinda close to nature I could share all my experiences with my friends 
um, I could get into trouble <laughs> and try to save my ass uh, some way and really learn, you know, to find solutions to problems, which I believe is the greatest and most important skill in life to find solutions and be brave at many situations. I decided that that's it. I won't waste any more time doing something that makes me unhappy and miserable. So that's when I started taking the first step in that direction. So I started, first of all, saving up money because I was broke. I had literally nothing in my wallet and my bank account was in debt. So I started working more, taking more shitty jobs and always when the time was hard to try and motivate myself and keep my goal in mind. You are working together man. You have a fucking reason. Keep going. Do the fucking job. Do the fucking job. It was hard. I tried to find ways to save up more money. money. So I went dumpster diving. And it's crazy how much money I saved and I actually started eating healthier. <laughs> so win-win, right? <laughs> so through all this little journey in my life, I have been thinking, <laughs> of course, all the time. Start believing that I actually, I'm the owner of my own life and I'm responsible of where my life is heading at. So I decided that I'm gonna take this risk because I'm the owner of my life. I can decide it as I want to. With hard work and dedication, I believe everything is possible and it's even easier today than ever. So that's what I did and I decided to take this big risk and if I had to quit my job and quit my studies to pursue that dream, then there's no better time than now because it's now that I'm feeling it and I'm passionate about it. And I couldn't live with myself if I didn't make that choice because I would just grow old and be miserable because I didn't did that thing when I was young and I loved it. And I actually found a purpose. Motivate me to get out of bed in the morning and grow and learn and involve in everything around me. So I don't try to say that you should quit your job or your studies, but I try to say that start first of all to learn who you are and get to know yourself better and what are your talents and your qualities and find a way that you can make that into a living. I believe that's the recipe for happiness in your life and I believe that you should definitely follow that path and learn from it. I mean you can always go back but if you just let time pass and you don't act on it you will regret it for a lifetime. And I'm ready to take this risk, learn from it. Whatever comes out of it is something I chose and I'm proud of it. I really can't wait to learn <laughs> through this process. And as you can see, I'm starting a YouTube channel and I want to share my journey of this risk and this lifestyle I'm about to, to go and do. And I want to share my experiences and my thoughts on life and also learn on, on this journey along the way. So if you're interested in seeing what happens with me, subscribe to my channel and I will be grateful if you leave a thumbs up and share my video if you want. And one other thing, if you're still watching this video, <laughs> I love you for that first of all. I feel really alone in this world uh, because I have many different opinions about life and I don't find many people that like-minded. So if you felt something in this video that are related to your life, want to share your story, please write your story in the comments or what you agree or disagree about in this video. And I would love to meet people like-minded and, and just get together and, and share knowledge and find solutions and inspire each other. So I think that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait what the future has for me. <laughs> Have a great day. See you. I just bought a fucking van. I can't.